In this video, you are going to learn how to make this awesome electricity effect. It works on logos, text, and even live action footage. Now the really nice thing about this effect is that it's procedural, so there are no keyframes in this. Alright, I've got the DaVinci Resolve logo here. I'm going to make sure nothing's selected. Then I'm going to add the Edge Detect. Drag that into here so that it's separate from the main thing. I'm going to change the mode to grayscale edges. Then I'm going to bring down the brightness and bring up the threshold until we just have thin little lines. All right, next, I'm going to click on the fast noise right here. That automatically adds a merge node. So if we take a look at that, we can change the apply mode to multiply. Now the splotches are dark. So in the fast noise, I can change the type to gradient. We bring up the contrast. Now only certain parts of our logo are visible. I'll play around with the scale and the contrast. I like to bring the brightness all the way down just so we have little, little small chunks. You can also bring up the detail a little bit. Crank up the seize rate all the way. All right, next, I'm gonna add a displace node and another fast noise. I'm gonna change the type to X and Y. Bring down the offset all the way. Then I'm gonna put equals in the X refraction. So now we can link it to the Y refraction. So I'm gonna play with that. Bring up the contrast a little bit. You can mess with the scale. Change the type to discontinuous. Bring the seethe rate somewhere around 0.6. And we'll play around with this till you get a nice kind of warbly look. You don't want to go too big because you'll get these ripples, these little circles here. All right, next, I'm going to copy paste this. Bring another fast noise in. This one, I'm going to bring up the size all the way to 20. It's going to bring up the detail and then bring up the seethe rate. Next, I'm going to add an X glow fuse. This doesn't come with fusion, but it's free on reactor and it gives a really nice looking glow. I'm gonna bring it to kind of golden orange look. Then to refine that more, I'm gonna add a intensity node. Bring up the vibrance a little bit, the saturation. Bring up the gain and the gamma. Then I can play around with the hue to make sure the color is just how I like it. Next, drag this over your logo and put that on screen. You know, looking at it, I think on the fast noise, I'm gonna bring up the scale so there are less patches and really go back and play with all these settings, tweaking things to get it just right. Now, the really nice thing about this effect, is I can go Alt-Click, that'll add a pipe router here. So I can take out my logo and just put in some text. I bring my text in there. It'll automatically add it to the text. That's the really nice thing about having this be procedural. With the text though, you can see it's not really showing up well on the white. So I can go to this little paintbrush tab and change the type to gradient. Now you'll see it's showing up a lot better and has the added bonus of looking way more cinematic. If you're gonna do this effect on live action footage, make sure to film your subject on green screen or roto them out. That way the lightning will just affect them and won't be all over the background. If I went a bit fast for you in this tutorial, I just made a whole video about lightning in DaVinci Resolve where I go in depth on how to get the best results. 